What's up, slimes? It's your boy Trey from the mailroom. I just beat the ever loving crap out of the ultra premium box uh, so that we could immediately take this seriously. Anyway, this bad boy costs $120 to buy retail. People are flipping it for like probably almost $500 by now. We're gonna ruin its value immediately by opening it. I also think I like literally damaged it. Wow, I like actually damaged it doing that. <laughs> He <laughs> did it that four box. Dude, that did more damage than I thought it would. Oh yeah, let the dislikes roll in, baby. What a great way to start this. Yeah, we're opening this bad boy up. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I can't say that. I get listen, I'm just I'm I'm here. We're starting things off serious. Welcome. Um, if you're very angry that I just hit the ultra premium collection like that, uh please leave a comment below. That tells me how stinky I am. It's a nice, I got a little hat down there I can use for trash. So this is, this is extremely difficult to get. Uh, some people are selling their left legs for this item. And I have just beaten it. I just opened the video by beating it with a dog sh D shatter. <laughs> you are a stinky baka. Let's look at the damage. Oh, that's not bad. It's like, I mean, listen. It's bad if I planned on reselling it. I don't, so. Uh, this box comes with a ton of stuff inside of it. I, I might have to move him out of the way for a minute. This is very large. It's very hard to get on camera. So we're gonna oh, pick that dude up. We're gonna set him over here for a second. Don't hit my mic. Uh, get a better look at this here. It's very deflective. You can just straight up see me in it. Thick box. Can we slide it out or does it like open at the side? Train on. I have no idea how to open this. Huh. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's very... Oh, the whole thing is reflective. Okay. Oh, that's... I'm trying not to, like, blind you all. So we got train on, but it's upside down. Am I supposed to hold it up? Oh, God, everything's falling out. Oh, it slides out. Okay, okay, okay. Nice Under Armour shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Bro, you think, like, listen, I don't want y'all seeing my freaking underwear. I could not care less. No train. I could not care less if you see my sleep shirt. Oh, dude, everything is just thrown in here. <laughs> it's not packaged at all. They just tossed this stuff in here. All right. So, box number one. Let's see what. Let's see what's in each box. Let's... Where's my... Uh, where's my focus? Uh... Bro, I can't see past the plush, dude. Oh, easy solution. Bam. Get a nice little oh he's peeking i don't like that that's not let's not do that let's have him just like tilt over here to the edge he's, he's probably gonna fall this dude's probably gonna slide off here in a minute all right properties get this cranking configure video get ready for me to do this uh four times over the course of the stream because i'm strictly unprofessional okay here we go we have in box number one here the golden pokeball promo dude should i take this out of this out of the packaging should i remove this from its packaging we've already hit the box repeatedly should i just no <laughs> golden golden pokeball card with a pikachu 25 on it and we also have a golden Pikachu V card. When, what can you catch with that? The golden Pikachu, of course. What a silly question. Maybe you should have just waited for it to come on screen. You go, well, that's how Pokeballs work. They just go, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to say what I was about to say. Anyway, that's cool. Is this already bent? I didn't do this. I didn't bend this card. This card came bent. That's, that's what happens when you just throw promo cards in there. In this box, we also have an absolute massive amount. I think this is all 17 of my celebrations packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There was some there's a secret in there. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I will, I am gonna take this out of the packaging. We got a nice little fancy coin. Can't wait for all those to be done. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Could have sold this bad boy for like a thousand dollars in a year or two from now. Now nah, we're gonna open and get 17 duds. Oh, oh, never mind. Ew, what the hell? There's like residue on it. 
there's like residue on my coin. Well, this is like an almost impossible coin to show off because of the camera. Stopping in, just say hello and bye. Oh, you missed me attacking the box. Lick it. <laughs> Dude, I don't think this residue is from my fingers, so I don't think I want to lick it. It's, ew. It's like, it's sticking to me. Let me use my shirt. Oh, <laughs> 911, we got a box in here. Let me try cleaning it off. So I had heard uh, people talking about how the coins were like, they had like imperfections or something. Mine actually looks perfectly fine, which is hilarious. I was about to say I think the Pokeball is upside down, but I guess in hindsight, there's no way to know if the Pokeball is upside down or not. It's a Switch cart. I never did lick one of those. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like it meant something. By the way, I feel like I was like misled when I was told that this came with three storage boxes. I really thought the storage boxes would be more than the size of my hand with no lid, like you just slide in it. Like, I don't even think this would hold cards. Can you even put cards in here? I have a nice, I have a, I have a Injustice Arkham Origins Bane trading card. Let's see if that fits in there. Oh, you know what? I stand corrected. I guess you can put cards in there. You can put card packs, so you can put cards. Yeah, let me just dump all my cards in there upside down. Oh! I did not. Okay, packs, you're going to have to go up here on top of the golden Pikachu. There's also, there's stuff on top. Let's, let's, oh, look at this. Oh, this is it also, this is a funhouse mirror. Oh, they didn't tell me this came with a funhouse mirror. Yo! This is just, welcome to the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection. I'm not reading all of this. There's a table of contents for this. Oh, it just tells me about every card ever. Wow, owner's Pokemon. Dark, it's every type of card ever. Whoa. Light Pokemon, Delta Species. I don't have, like, any of that stuff it's shown. And toss that to the side. Okay. What is this? I thought this was, I thought this was, like, a straw paper for a second. It's stuck in there. All right, let's... What's in box number two? The metal cards. Yo! I am at, I probably am going to leave these in the plastic. Thirsty dunks. So we got a metal golden Pikachu card. Beautiful. Fat Pikachu, bro! Look at that. That's that's real good. And then you got the, the design of it back here. Yeah, man, I'm going to open this bad boy up and stick it inside of my uh, binder. And we also have, oh, this was clearly the box, because now we also got this bad boy right here. We got our Metal Charizard. Pikachu, did you evolve into Metal Pikachu? Dude, Charizard into Metal Charizard is definitely like a Digimon evolution. Where's Metal Blue Eyes? In my packs. Put that over there, please. Oh, and then we also have a pin of Pikachu riding on Charizard's back. Look at that, that's lovely, love me some pins. Absolutely going bonkerinos. Put that over with the coin. And then that's all for this box, which we'll slide back in. What could possibly be possibly be in box number three? Oh right, other booster packs, what do we got? I thought this came, oh it, did, it does come with a code card, the code card's down here. Yeah, I'm gonna flip that baby. We got Darkness Ablaze, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, Vivid Voltage, Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain, Chilling Rain, Chilling Rain. Honestly, I'm, I'm all for that pack selection. That's pretty solid pack selection. Uh, and I, that's pretty much it, really. My Charizard has fallen over. That's everything we have to open. We're going to open all these packs now, if I can very cautiously get everything down we're gonna take our two metal our two golden cards and very gently place them off to the side i have no clue if any of those are good i am a big fan of vivid voltage darkness ablaze has a charizard you can get and chilling rain is bad but i oh i've opened like a couple packs of chilling rain ever so there's at least a bunch of stuff in it i don't have so 
I won't complain about these packs, especially because I'm here for the celebrations packs. No, I can't, you can't fall. Okay, he's good like that. He can say like that. We're gonna move this out of the way. Amen. That's how you. That's really. That's really how you know that I'm never gonna resell this. Is it's absolutely scuffed now. Oh, train on! Don't forget to train on. Let's put our bad boy right here. Let's let's put him off to the side. Dude, if we get Charizard uh, or Umbreon, we're gonna put we're gonna give him some drip. I got some drip for him. How do we want to do this? Do we want to open all of the non-celebrations packs first, and then open all the celebrations packs, or do we want to like alternate? Give him a good pet. I can't. I want to do the like the gif, you know. Celebrations last. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, let's open. No, you know what? We, we gotta do it. We gotta weigh it all. Heavy. Average. Light. 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 Heavy. Light. No. They're both like teetering on average, so let's do. But also put the Vivid Voltage last, because Fat Pikachu could be in it. Yeah, Vivid Voltage is a chance of giving you Fat Pikachu, so like. That's the money card there. Thanks, no problem. Alright. Time to make an absolute mess out of everything. Best pack. Alright, chilling rings. We're just gonna speed run. We gotta we can't like spend 100 years opening the non-celebrations pack. So we gotta get through these bad boys, make a pile of trash on the ground, and make a pile of trash on the table via the cards that I throw down. All right, here we go. Garbage, lady, guy. It's the first time I've ever seen two trainer cards like back to back. Oh, 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 I love this. I don't have this one, this little clay clobopus. Oh, he's going into, into special corner over here. All right. Anyway, I'm, I'm a sucker for the clay and yarn cards. Reverse hollow, golurk, and a holographic uh, greedent. Or as my chat sometimes calls him, Chesterton, because of the sword and shield playthrough. The special corner, yeah. He's not quite a good pool, but I'm putting him off to the side. Is vivid voltage time? I do have most, if not all, of the regular cards in vivid voltage. Uh, but I definitely don't have Fat Pikachu yet. At least I don't have Vivid Voltage's Fat Pikachu, so... We're definitely looking for that. Trumbeak, a lady, Crocodile, Clefairy. Oh, I love Wilmer. I love... I thought he was a, like a little yarn dude, but he's just a nice drawing. Put some eggs down the hill. Reverse Hollow Dog. And just another Crocodile. But it's okay, because we've got another Vivid Voltage. I think I divided these. I think I said these had, like, three light packs and three heavy packs, I think I ended up saying. Oh, you love to see Whale. Whalmer. Where is the raccoon Pokemon? Bro, is there a raccoon Pokemon? Also, why am I saying raccoon? I actually don't know if there's a raccoon Pokemon. I feel like there has to me, and I'm just insane. But... I actually can't think of one off the top of my head. Zigzagoon is like the closest I can think of. Reverse Hollow Jolteon and like just regular Charizard. I guess like, I don't think Zigzagoon's a raccoon, but like it's probably the closest to it. Is this Chilling Rains? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's just Chilling Rains. No, this is Darkness Ablaze. I'm dumb. This is a Darkness Ablaze pack. Oh yeah, dark energy. I agree that is close to a raccoon. Oh cool. Laron, Skarmory, Gothita, Paris, Mareep, Ducklet. We got the reverse hollow Teddy Ursa, and we just got regular Galarian Darmanitan. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, these are all bonus packs, and if I get anything good from these, it's a bonus, and if all of these are duds, that's kind of insane, because there's nine packs here, but also, 
not too upset about it. It's just chilling rains, by the way. Now, the celebration stuff. Zizun is a small quadrupedal raccoon like Pokemon, so true. Fair? It's just the future for the celebrations pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, honestly, I would take all of these being duds if it means I get really banger celebrations cards. Now, ooh, I like that Porygon. That doesn't mean I will get. I thought he was beating someone to death. I thought that stump was like a person or another Pokemon. That's a very nice Delibird art. And that's a very nice uh, Kecleon art that is not anything particularly special, unfortunately. Why did this card get flipped upside down? How'd that happen? All right, we're on to the heavy packs now. Let's see, did I masterfully weigh these? Here comes Darkness Ablaze. Wait, this might, this might actually be eight packs, not nine. It's me, I'm being beaten to death, help. Sorry, gamer. That's not how this works. I accidentally pulled away the not code card on that one, but I didn't see what it was, so here we go. Come on, it's time to hit three bangers in a row. Aw, oh, dude, we got the familiar bell! And the familiar spider that we saw just a minute ago. Some purple tea? Kimmy told me that I need to drink more tea to go to sleep, and I think she's trying to drug me. Reverse Hollow Bond Suite, and the worst Pokemon ever made. Wow. Yo, SCP Bell! Bro, I've read the SCP Bell. I don't remember what it does. I just remember that there is a bell that is an SCP. Also, I think it's in the video game. Oh, dude, Snover, but he punch. There's multiple. Yeah, you know what? Good point. Really, there's multiple of every SCP. You think about it hard enough. Okay. Two packs left. It's time to hit. It's a very nice looking Whirlipede. It's a very nice looking Whirlipede. Oh, Snover Punch. Oh, first time chat. Well, that wasn't Trubbish. Dude, I hope I pull Trubbish now just for that joke. I hope Trubbish is somehow my rare. I don't like that. I don't know. There's something about that photo. There's something about that photo I don't like. There's something about this photo I do like. Dunks is crunching. We got one pack of Vivid Voltage left. The one I think of summons is a buffer that will get you almost anything. Oh, dude, that's crazy. So it's just like a, it's just a, just a good bell. Just a ring this bell for service. And the service is anything you want. Here we go. Final Vivid Voltage Pack. Every one of these packs has been a dud, but that's okay. Because this is about celebrations. Uh, but also, this pack will now give me Fat Pikachu. And the celebrations can truly begin. Here we go. Reverse Hollow Shaman. That's crazy. Yo! He's not fat Pikachu, but he is pretty large. He is a pretty chunky guy. Reverse Hollow Shaman is here. I need to get a pack out. You know, where's my Vivid Voltage packs? Are they still in here? Here they are. Oh, yeah. Get those Vivid, get those vivid Voltage sleeves. Fat fur walk, but white. I don't even know what that means. Put that in there. Look at that. Toga Kiss V. That's why I don't have that. And that's a nice. You need that? Well, I have it now. I, I also did not have this, so I'm pretty content with that. That's pretty solid. It's absolutely nuts that all that seven out of eight of those packs were duds. But like I said, you know who cares? You know it's celebrations time. Get the celebration sleeves out because we're about to hit hard. We're about to open this entire UPC's worth of celebrations. Can I just like? Can I just preemptively clean all of these off? It's time for the section of the video where I pad for time a little bit. Dude, I would actually, I mean this unironically, right? I'm opening this U, this ultra premium collection on stream because I'm a crackhead. Because you, should, you shouldn't open your UPC, but I did it. And I not only opened it, I beat it with a stick. Uh, and that's cool and all. I damaged it. Uh... If my channel, my, my, my regular channel is monetized. My unboxing channel that we're currently going to be uploading this to is not monetized. Otherwise, I probably would pad for time a little bit to recoup some of the losses from buying and opening a UPC. You ever think about how you could buy a PS5 or a new PC instead of opening these? Uh, yeah, actually, I could, like, definitely in a year. Actually, I could probably sell this today if I hadn't opened it. 
and have the money for a PS5 if I got frisky. <laughs> Forget about that Gen 510. Listen, man. See, that's the thing. If I got, like, a Gen 510, I probably wouldn't open it. Alright, it's time to weigh these with my mind as well. There's absolutely no way to tell. Maybe these are both light. Uh, very light. Heavy. Okay, this is medium, because this is clearly heavy. Medium. Heavy. Heavy. Light. Light. Oh no. I don't like how not heavy most of these are. I say as if I can actually weigh these. I'm dead, like I'm not just making this up on the fly. All right, here we go. 17 celebrations packs. I'm giving you a gin 510 lol. Oh my god. Dude, if someone just gifted me a Gen 510, I probably would just open it on stream. We need to get you a scale. No, that's... Alright, that would actually be padding for time. That would actually just be me padding for time. Fingers crossed, everyone. Pack number one. Which, as a casual reminder, for those who didn't know, uh, I opened, like, what was it? Six Celebrations packs the last time I streamed, and five of them were duds. My dud rate is very bad. All right. There's two regular collection cards I need, and then there's like a few secret collection. Reshiram, or class collection, I call it. Eveltal, Lugia, Flying Pikachu V. Boop, ba -doo, boop, ba -doo. Look at that dude. Yeah, let's get the. Let's undo the sleeves. We'll crinkle ASMR there while I get the sleeves out. I do have this guy, but you know what? At least it's a hit. At least all 17 packs won't be duds. Thick Pikachu. We go. Get that, get that, get that chunky guy right there. I have him in V Max. I think I also have him and the V Max as well. That's a good start. That's a good uh, positive vibes start because it means we're not getting nothing but duds. Get that code card out of here. All right, here we go. Pack number two: Cosmog, Eveltal, Palkia. And then a dud. Boom. Dud pack. Non-factor. I have fat package VV if you want to trade. Oh, absolutely. 100% I want to trade for vivid voltage fat Pikachu. I'm an absolute... I don't know why I was opening this one off camera. No! Dude, Cosmog packs are cursed. I think Cosmog is the most definitive bad omen of Celebrations packs. Okay, Cosmog, Cursed, Cursed Pack, Zekrom. <gasps> Yo! Yo! Alright. Had to get, had to, had to get proven wrong there. My reverse psychology worked. <laughs> Alright, Zamazenta V. I've pulled a bunch of him. But you know what? He's there. He's a little, he's a little fodder. Sometimes that's how it be. Cosmog, are you talking ish? Is that Poggers? This is Poggers, uh, because it is a classic collection card I don't have. And at this point, that's what I consider Poggers, is the stuff I don't have. Because I'm like, you know, breaking, breaking the fourth wall a bit. We're doing four videos here in this single stream, where I open all of this. So like, the next, on, on the YouTube channel, next, from this video, and then like the next three videos after it, are all done in this one sitting. I'm not getting any more celebrations after this, except I'm getting a Sylveon box later today, and I'm going to try and get some more of the mini tins, just to get one of each. Other than that, I'm not buying any more celebrations. So whatever I don't get, I simply don't get. So, I need to make sure to get the stuff that I actually need. So, Dawn Fan, it's a good get. Is that a Dawn Fan Prime? Yeah, that's Dawn Fan Prime, okay. Where he's like exploding out. I'm not here to talk negative about the prime cards again. Because that one actually looks nice. But it also might only look nice because of the kind of border on it. You are going to buy celebrations. Mm, we'll see about that. Cosmoim. That's not quite a Cosmog opener, so. Who knows what that means? Groudon and Kyogre together means I get a dud pack. This dude is actually cursed. Solgaleo is like legitimately cursed. That's two dud packs already in the Ultra Premium Collection. 
Yes, you are. You're getting a Sylveon box for me. I mentioned the Sylveon box. The jury's still out on if Dialga is considered a blessing or not. Let's find out. Xerneas. Cosmog. Yo, Fat Pikachu! Have him. But that's okay. Every, every card I get that's not a dud is something, you know? Because there's not... I don't think there's a ton of stuff I'm missing. Like, there's, there's like, a decent amount of classic collection that I'm missing, but... Those are going to be much harder to get. Fat Pikachu count. Two. Is that... I guess we're counting, yeah, flying Fat Pikachu. Are we counting Metal Fat Pikachu? Time to free mention it. That's fair. I often forget there's a stream delay. It's so easy to just assume... All of my chat just repeats the same things over and over, so I forget that it's not real time. I wasn't counting metal. Well, are you going to count metal, or are you going to say nah? Metal don't count. Eh. Alright. Kyogre. Eveltal. Kyogre and Groudon combo. Professor's Research Full Art. This is definitely one of the, like, better duplicates for me to get. At least the last time I checked. I could be wrong. <laughs> Maybe maybe this is actually worth like 50 cents now. Probably not, but nonetheless. Got a bunch of class you can go through. Much appreciated. I got two in my ETB. You know what? I want to say I think that's better than how my ETB went, but I don't really remember, to be honest with you, because the ETB was, I think, like the first thing I opened celebrations-wise. So I was probably very high on my ETB. All right, Zekrom, Lugia, ho -Oh. Dude, I've still never pulled Zacian, and Zacian is like a nothing card, right? Like, it's not going to be hard for me to get Zacian in the slightest. It's very strange that I have now pulled uh, four or five Zamazenta Vs, but not a single Zacian. Very wacky. It's very, very crazy. By the way, there's no point in me, like, lying to you and pretending that I know which of these packs was light, medium, or heavy when I weighed them earlier. It's simply all indistinguishable for me. Okay. I wish these packs were resealable. It hurts me seeing them be teared. Got one you can have. Thank you, gamer. Lugia. Kismig. Kyogi. Dud! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to knock the boys over. I'm not, I'm not here trying to pop the boys. Oh, uh, you want it? You want it? Let's let's uh, let's let's open this one nice and gentle for Mako. Let's give this one a nice gentle opening. A little ASMR for you. Oh, here we go. There we go. There we go. And you just, you just do that a little bit. And you, and you take this out. There we go. Nice, nice, lovely looking pack. The Fat Pikachu, no. There's a nice, there's a nice opened, but still very pretty booster pack for you, Mako. How lovely. All right. Now let's see what was inside this very gently opened pack. Dialga. Cosmo M. Oh! Oh! It all paid off, baby. It all paid off. I didn't have Blastoise. I have Venusaur. Now you can frame it. Dude, exactly. And I was rewarded for my efforts. Do I need to do that? Is that what I need to do for all of them? Do I need to just start opening all of them gently to bless the packs? Fat Pikachu count for baby. Give me that fat Pikachu in there. Yo. Alright. Should I do it again? Should I should I do another gentle opening? It did pay off for me. Let's see if I can oh, never mind. <laughs> well, this one's gonna be a dud pack. <laughs> I have I immediately ripped it. <laughs> I cannot get good at opening them quickly. Groudon, Reshiram. Palkia. Yo! 
I can't stop getting fatties. Just toss to the side. Boom, non factor. Oh, that was two. That's a two for right there. Fat Pikachu count five. Yeah, man. Fat Pikachus are like cool and all. Oh, dude, this one, this one's salvageable. Oh, I've done it again. Another perfect pack opening. Dude, let's open this one like completely straight. Like, let's lay this bad boy flat down. Look at that. Bam, look at that. Wow. It's a nice. Put that in your candy wrapper and smoke it. Alright. Oh. Pulled more than the back card away, but I didn't see it, so who knows? Xerneas. Cosmog. Cursed, 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 cursed. Explosion you. <laughs> what now? Alright, we're done. We're done doing gentle packs. It's time to just start tearing. It's time to start ripping and tearing. We're, we're going Doom Slayer style. You telling me there's not a single Shiny Mew, Charizard, or Umbreon in my Ultra Premium collection that I paid my hard-earned Schmeckle dollars for? You're telling me there's like five duds in my Ultra Premium collection? Is that what's happening here? You want to make it six? You want to say six duds for your Ultra Premium collection? Don't open your Ultra Premium pack is not a dud. I can see a little sparkle. Where is Blue Eyes White Dragon? Alright. I see a sparkle. There's a classic collection card in here. Yo! Mew EX! Yo! Alright, cool. Mew EX, another classic that I needed. Let's freaking go! Look at that bad boy. Nice Mew. Not the shiny, though, but that's okay. Perfectly fine. Bro, I am gonna have a literal forest of Pikachus. I'm, I can just, I'm just gonna line them all up, and it'll just look like a single image. It'll be like... I, this is the real Pikachu V Union. It's just getting, like, 17 of these dudes and lining them up in the woods. <laughs> Pikachu count six. How many packs are left? Four. Here we go. The last three are ultimate bangers. I can feel it. You gotta use five of them to summon fattest Pikachu Exodia. It's a shame you weren't here when I opened the, the V Union Pikachu box where... Wait, were you? I actually have no idea if you were here when I opened V Union Pikachu box. Where you actually do put the Pikachu cards together to make a big photo. Okay, Cosmog, Cursed Pack, Cursed Pack, Cursed Pack, Cursed Pack. This might as well be a dud at this point. <laughs> Getting this dude. All right, but you know what? That set that paved the way. What classics are you missing? I don't honestly know all of the classics that are in the set. Uh, I know I need well, Shiny Mew is not a classic. I know I need Charizard, Umbreon. Those are the only classics I like know of off the top of my head. The the obvious ones. Uh, I guess yeah. I guess Tapu Lele is considered a classic. I'm missing that. That one's not that particularly bad, though. That one's, like, weirdly rare, but also, like, worthless. So, can you get it pretty easy? Uh, this is this is a duplicate. Oh, <gasps> yo, double yo. I told you, his last three were good. I actually have Here Comes Team Rocket, but that's fine. This is an absolute banger of a duplicate to get. So, we'll toss that baby. I, this one's not as holographic. <laughs> As the other one I got was, and I don't know if that's an issue with this one or an issue uh, with the other one I got, or if I've gone insane. Surfing Pikachu VMAX, I'm pretty sure I have, but who cares? Fat Pikachu count, seven, which <laughs> Groudon, I do have Team Magma's Groudon, yes. That's a very fat Pikachu. I also have the Cleffa, and I have Venusaur and Blastoise. I got the Dawn Fan. So I don't know what else there is. I haven't really looked at a card list for them. And they're not, like, the secrets aren't numbered, so I can know how many there are. Second to last pack. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Regular surfing Pikachu. Okay. He's just, he's just gonna be there with his fat buddy. It's fine. Final pack. 
the pack that did genuinely feel the heaviest. Hmm, does he count as fat? If you counted the flying Pikachu as fat, which you did, I think you gotta count this chunker. This dude's barely staying on that surfboard. Dark Gyarados, I do have, I actually got two Dark Gyar Gyaradoses. Come on, baby, final pack. All right. It's time. I should have opened this one gently. You know what? I kind of did. I kind of did. That's a blessing right there. That's that's a bless. Bless me up. It's time. No. Cursed. The Pikachu fell. No. That's a bad omen. That's like the exorcist when all the actors started dropping dead. I am missing Garchomp. Garchomp I'm missing. <laughs> that's not bad. Alright, that's bad. This is fine. This is a duplicate, but it's a perfectly fine duplicate to get. Dude, I that's crazy. I shouldn't have opened that. <laughs> I both shouldn't have opened that and also should not have beaten it to death with my dog D shedder. But that's okay. You know what? It was still a fun time. Look at that dude. Alright, let's let's peep let's peep the let's peep the lads. No drip for you though, unfortunately. We didn't get anything like crazy, so no drip, but like have chomp gar i have a gray chomp level x from several years ago in my binder please no you can't keep doing this to me all right whatever <laughs> this is my this is my joker moment all right let's look at let's look at all the stuff you know let's take a little peek luxray oh dude i don't have luxray i didn't even know that was a thing we got the golden pokeball of course we got the golden pikachu we got the metal pikachu we got the, uh, Metal Chimzard. We have, in no particular order, a Clay Clobopus. Toga Kiss V. Flying Pikachu V. Zamazenta V. Dawn Fan Prime. It's a pogger. Fat Pikachu. Professor Oaks Research. Zamazenta V. Blast Moin. Fat Pikachu. Fat Pikachu. Mew EX. Fat Pikachu. Mew EX is probably the best thing I've pulled, but Zamazent to V. I could be mistaken. Here comes Team Rocket. Fatter Pikachu. Fat Pikachu. Venusaur. Yeah, so overall, I think my rating of the old Pokemon Celebrations TCG Ultra Premium Collection is that it's probably not worth the value of the money. I just, I don't think this was worth $120. You know how it is. I should, I should, I almost opened this up and just licked it and ended the stream right there. But I'm not gonna do that. Oh, I need Pikachu's birthday, you're right. Yeah, man, there's a whole lot of stuff in this that I didn't pull despite opening 17 packs. But hey, I got more celebrations to open. So if you enjoyed me beating my Ultra Premium Collection uh, with a stick, and if you didn't enjoy that, uh, leave a comment below and feed the algorithm. And maybe more, tell all your friends that watch this absolute crackhead smack his Ultra Premium box and then get no pools. That'd be, I don't know why I'm saying no pools, I did get some good stuff. You know what I'm saying. Just tell everyone, like, you won't believe that this dude had 17 duds. And then they watch it and they go, that dude didn't have 17 duds. And then you say, I told you you wouldn't believe it. Cool, hey, thanks for coming. God, I wish that was me. Sweet.